Okay, let's try this again. Uh, try a shadowing Tronix. Yes, I am still taking part in the art sound off challenge. Just when I went to record last night, I only had one chance. Only had one time to. I only do it once, and of course, that's when the thing decides to update on when the uh, the phone decides to update on me. The um, webcam app decided to cut out, and everything, and things got screwed up part way through it. So I didn't even get to finish it. And I didn't have time to re-record it because I wanted to get to bed. I was tired. So the end result is this was late. And the funny thing is, I was kind of doubling this art sound off as an update as to what's going on on the BW side and discussing uh, there we go. discussing creation, my uh, youth creative goals and what I was hoping to do. Because I know YouTube, the thing with, with YouTube is I've kind of been using it as kind of a supplemental to the website. The problem is that means people on YouTube cannot, doesn't know, don't know that I'm still doing stuff. It's just I'm doing articles and then my weekly comic strip for my other site. And I haven't even done much of that this year because as I mentioned back in uh, number one of this year's art sound off, I've just been really sick. And it's kind of annoying because I started out the year saying, I wanted to do all these things and then I didn't get to do them. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to do on the website to make it good. First off, I need to go through and close caption all of my videos. There's like a handful of videos that have gotten closed captioned and I want to take and go through and close caption the rest of them. This way, you know, people are hard of hearing or can't have the volume up too high, they can put up the captions and work that way. You can't do that with YouTube. Be YouTube's auto captioning because YouTube's auto capturing capturing is is not very good frankly you know you're talking about um, walking down the street and if you doesn't hear you correctly you just think that you're waking up next to a pile of beets or something and that's you know that's not really very helpful to as a uh, as captions, people, if people are just using the auto captions is a good way to like do a, to start things up to <clears throat> you get a general layout, but you have to go through and edit them, and that's kind of what um, I need to do in order to get everything the way it's supposed to be. Um, and sometimes it doesn't even take the audios off the clips and everything else. So that's something that I've got to do that I've got to set up. And um, there, making videos on YouTube is not easy. Uh, if anybody tells you that, they're wrong. This it's so, something like this is one thing. This is, I mean, the point of our sound off is not very polished. So I set up a phone as a webcam. I record my bit. And I I upload it. And the day's done. If I'm going to do a, a serious review, like a video review, um, or something, anything besides a vlog. There's editing, there's ba audio balancing, there's getting things right, there's research, there's writing, there's, I think I mentioned writing, you know, there's setting up the audio and video so that it all sounds good, all the stuff you gotta do in post-production, and you're only one person. A TV show has like a number of different people. You, um, even if you do something for um, cable access, if anybody does anything for cable access anymore, um, you got to, it takes time to set up and other people working the camera and stuff on YouTube, it's just you. You're doing the writing, you're doing the editing, you're doing the videography. And nowadays a big enough channel can hire uh, editors, can hire, uh, you know, people to do the thumbnails. I do my own thumbnails because I'm a cartoonist, I'm an artist. I, why would I not do my own thumbnails? In fact, in the videos, I do artwork. Um, when I do a video review, I kind of draw something connected to the thing, just to have some visual, something e easy visual, and lessen my time on camera. Um, I don't know if you've noticed during the art sound offs, but I'm not very comfortable on camera. It's just I don't see a reason to go and grab an audio host, audio exclusive host, for what's essentially going to be just art sound off. It's not something that I would. I think I would use otherwise. Um, 
and I could come up with something on here. I could uh, just show, just have, you know, there are people who do vlogs over drawing or over playing video games or something. And I, I could do that. That doesn't really feel like a vlog, though. Um, and that in itself takes more editing and more, and more work. This is just supposed to be, you know, off the cuff. Here's what's coming up. Here's what I'm working on. Here's why I've been delayed. And, um, is what I knew of. It's not supposed to be that much polish. Even if you're just putting the audio over foot, that's still extra editing time. This is simply record and upload. You know, I could probably do a more interesting vlog that way, but our sound off is basically, you know, off the cuff, you record it, you upload it, you share it with the world, or you don't. That's always possible, too. You, with our, the rules of art sound off, you don't have to share your art sound off. It's just something, you can just do it for yourself. Just something to wrap your thoughts around the storytelling, creating, and your own methodologies. You know, just something to just put your thoughts in perspective into into focus which is something that I actually do sometimes I'll, I'll do mock interviews in my head and it actually helps me come up with ideas or understanding some of the ideas I'm already doing so um, making a good YouTube video takes a lot of work it, and mine may not be all that great and but that's kind of why it takes a while to come out I'm doing articles uh, three times a day right now, uh, a weekly comic strip, a weekly uh, clutter organizing project. Um, it takes up a lot of time and it takes up uh, a lot of energy. And it doesn't help when I'm having uh, electronic issues, when family events come up, when I get sick. So I wish I was putting out more video content and I was hoping to start putting out more video content this year. And things just did not turn out that way. So, for those of you who come to YouTube, who subscribe to YouTube for my reviews or my convention footage, um, I got another reason why I haven't done convention footage. I'll get to that. Um, but that's why I haven't been able to post that much uh, video stuff up. And, you know, I'm really sorry. It's it's um, kind of a waste of time then for you to have this in the descriptions. But hopefully, when I can get past all of these hurdles I can start giving you guys the uh, kind of video content that I want to do and the other shows that I've been wanting to do that have also eluded me so I really want to get to work on all of that uh, so mm. there is video content that I want to do there's kind of a one project and maybe something of a hybrid I got one last bit of footage from Kineticon 2015 that I need to Put up there, and then I want to throw myself into the Robotech reviews um, and the Christmas special review. So uh, we'll see how all that goes. Um, probably what I'll do is a because I don't know if I'm going to get the I want to get that Kineticon footage done before the end of the month. That would be nice. I've got a, a little more drawing to do on the on an art piece that I'm tying to, into that visually. That all serves the thumbnails. So. Uh, when I get a chance to sit down and do that, um, then I can go back and finish editing. Um, and then at the same time, I want to take and uh, then focus <coughs> on the Christmas special. And then I'm going to focus on doing uh, the, remain the other three Robotech videos that I want to do. And from there, um, I'll... Um, hopefully lead into some of the other projects that I want to do uh, some of the other video video ideas that I have and I'm not making money off of this I, I wish I was and I and that kind of leads into what I want to talk about tomorrow for tomorrow's art sound off but um, there are things that I want to do there are things that I find interesting that I hope other people find interesting that, it's practice for what I would, for, um, to help me improve my skill, which may lead to some kind of income, or maybe I get, do get, uh, popular enough that I can start making money off of this and not have to worry about it. This way I can focus all my energies on my stuff instead of someone else's stuff. Uh, so, 
we'll see how all that goes. It all depends on whether or not the equipment can, can, keeps running, whether or not my body keeps running, and whatever else may come up against me. It's stuff that I really want to want to do um, because YouTube to me is part of uh, my creative energies, my creative urges, and thus is part of what I want to do. I want to be creative in numerous fields. Um, including learning how to use Blender and a few other programs and then being able to make stuff with that um, just because it's fun uh, I enjoy creating, I enjoy storytelling, I enjoy making cool things even if it's just cool to me but you know there's always a possibility somebody else might find it cool so it's like I don't see myself making video games that's a little too difficult I don't think I'd be making story based movies or anything like that I do my storytelling in comics form and maybe in prose if I get the urge <clears throat> but for the most part these are not uh, you know I know where my talents lie where my interests lie and I need to get my interests work on my interests to improve my talent to make better and end product so um, I do have fun I do want to do stuff on this channel if I can keep from being sick long enough I will actually achieve that. Um, so, those of you following on YouTube, um, stay tuned. Um, you know, keep watch your subscription feeds. I don't know if anybody rings a bit ever rings the bell. I don't ring any. I don't do any of the things with the with the bells because I'm I look look my subscription feed every day, and hopefully I can get through the backlog on that. But. Um, so that's all I want to say on that. Uh, sorry this is late. Hopefully there won't be any more technical issues this year, but history showed otherwise. So until then, um, if you want to check out the stuff that I'm actually uh, doing on a regular basis, and the stuff that the videos right now are supplemental to, uh, go to bwspotlight.com. And um, there's video, there's audio, there's me talking, talking or me writing rather. Most of the time it's me writing, but there are also some stuff that I find that I, sh that I showcase to other people. Um, I got something coming up tonight. I'm doing the pilot review for uh, Star Trek Prodigy episode. Oh, it's a two-parter, but essentially the pilot. So, and I'm actually, and unless it's down by now, uh, the pilot will actually be there for you to watch, thanks to um, Paramount Plus's YouTube channel. And then it'll be my, my thoughts on it. And so that might be interesting. So you can check that all that out at bwspotlight.com. If you want to learn more about Art Sound Off, go to artsoundoff.com. So let me get this uploaded so I can start recording tomorrow's Art Sound Off and start getting uh, my recordings, my writings and stuff together. So everything updates on time tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all. Happy creating.